morning guys it's Paige and welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are not yet already uh make sure to hit that subscribe button down below but as you guys can probably already tell by the title of this video i'm going to be doing a what i eat in a day this video has been super requested so i thought i would finally do it for you guys but before i start this video my eating habits are a little different when i'm home versus when i'm at school college life <laughs> usually for dinner my mom will make all of us dinner and i'll end up just having that um and just little things like that but you guys will see more in depth throughout the whole video but i just woke up a little bit ago it's around 11 o'clock right now I'm getting kind of hungry so i think i'm gonna go make myself a little bit of breakfast so let's go do that and i'll show you guys what i usually make for breakfast just came to the kitchen my parents got us bagels for breakfast this morning they look so good i think i'm gonna have a sesame bagel also, major key is jalapeno cream cheese. I don't know if a lot of people eat this, but comment down below if you do. But it's the best. I love it. Also, I usually scoop out my bagels as well. Is it just me or when moms make your breakfast, it just turns out a hundred times better? Which one's better? This one. <laughs> That's one I did. This one my mom did. And that is breakfast. It looks so good. Um, I'm a pretty picky eater, so I usually just have cream cheese on my bagels. And then I also put tomatoes on the side. Um, and then a little salt and pepper, and that's it. It's such a pretty day out. We decided to come eat outside. I also always have a cup of coffee with my breakfast in the morning. I usually just put like creamer and a little bit of sugar in there. Um, and yeah. Boom. <laughs> Hi, Nuggets. <laughs> so sweet. Also want to mention that throughout the day, I always try and drink um, four huge glasses or four of these. I feel like with one of these, it just really helps me drink water. Also, of course, good for the environment as well, so you don't use as much plastic. I used to use way more plastic and would constantly drink out of plastic water bottles, but now that I have this, it is super helpful. I'll also link this down below for you guys if you want to check it out. But yeah, drink your water. <laughs> Hi guys. So it's been a little bit since I last picked up my vlog camera. Um, but I've just been doing school all morning. I find out in a week so I've just been trying to study for those. I'm also just doing like group projects and just other homework that I need to do that I've been procrastinating. <laughs> I also worked out after my breakfast this morning. I didn't show you guys just because I have a bunch of other workout videos but I'm going to be doing a full workout routine video for you guys soon so stay tuned for that. But anyways I'm getting kind of hungry right now. I usually would have had a snack around this time or actually probably an hour earlier um, but I just haven't because I've been busy doing things um, and I also just haven't really been too hungry if I'm being honest. Uh, just because I had a bigger breakfast than usual this morning. Um, but since I've been home, I usually have been making just a really big salad um, with protein in it. Protein is a must for me. But yeah, let's go make lunch and I'll show you guys what I end up making. I'm going to use some arugula lettuce. I'm just going to use this whole thing actually. So I usually put tomatoes and cucumbers um, in my salad and just like other little things like that. But my mom made this chicken curry, which is super, super yummy. So I think I'm going to put some of that on top um, and maybe just cut up some grapes as well. I'm going to squeeze some lemon over this. Let's do a little salt. I should have showed you guys this before I mixed it, but the chicken curry is like all mixed in there. It doesn't look the prettiest, <laughs> but it's actually really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's lunch. Super yum. Okay, wait, I just made my mom the same salad and it, hers looks way prettier because I didn't mix hers up. Um, but this is what it looks like. So that's lunch. <laughs> so it's been a little bit since I last picked up my vlog camera. It's around like 6 o'clock-ish right now. Um, I just took a quick shower. But I'm getting kind of hungry, so I think I'm going to make some dinner um, and help my parents make it. I think we're going to make a HelloFresh meal tonight. Um, also, this isn't sponsored. It's not at anything. I've actually been getting HelloFresh meals the past few weeks. Um, we've been in quarantine. Just because it makes it easy. We don't have to go to the grocery store as much. And also, it's nice because we're making meals that we wouldn't have um, usually made. So this sounds like it's sponsored, but it's really not. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go make dinner. Okay, I think we're gonna make this one tonight. It's the pulled pork fiesta bowls. This looks yummy. 
Also, for those of you who haven't used HelloFresh, it's literally just six steps. Um, so, so easy. Four tablespoons. You got it, chef. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start cooking the rice now. Just let that sit for 18 minutes. Gonna put the bell peppers in here, also the shallot. My timer just went off, the rice is done. My camera's fogging up. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> I'm gonna put some seasoning in. Look how bomb this looks. Add in some butter and then put it on low and just let it cook. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, I mean, let's just please take a moment and look how bomb this looks. It literally only has like tomatoes, beef, bell peppers, shallots, and then a little bit of rice on top. So it's really healthy, but I mean, whoa. I think this means I'm a chef. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make some do you remember the regurgitator? A chocolate chip cookies. My family is dysfunctional. Um, I've been baking, I want to say like every night of this quarantine, every other day or something like that. I feel like it's strangely really therapeutic. Comment down below if you feel. <laughs> Thought I would show you guys my classic OG chocolate chip cookie recipe. Why was that so hard for me to say? But let's do it. <laughs> okay, so first thing I added are two cups of brown sugar. And then I usually stop mixing until there's like still just like little bits of chunks of butter in there. Um, I feel like that's the trick to the perfect chewy chocolate chip cookie. And then I add two eggs. And then you need two teaspoons of vanilla. And another one. Okay, that's good. Also, this is my dad, Danny, was helping me. Okay, and then I'm going to add some flour, baking soda, and salt. I just put it in one big bowl. Um, I'll also have all the measurements linked down below for you guys. Okay, so this is how it should be looking after you just added everything. Um, and now all that's left is the chocolate chips. Seriously, like the easiest, quickest recipe. I feel like I can make this in like 10 minutes. Also, I forgot to mention, but preheat your oven to 350 and then cook these for around like 10 to 12-ish minutes, just depending on your oven. But then, they're all done. So I just took these out of the oven and this is how they turned out. I'm officially a baker. Call me Chef Paige. <laughs> but seriously, unreal. Also, if you guys decide to remake these, um, take pictures and tag me in them so I can see how they turned out. Hi guys, so I'm editing this video right now and I realized I don't have an outro once again. Um, but today is Tuesday, it's 1 o'clock. I'm going to quickly try and get this up for you guys in like the next hour. Um, but I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. It would mean seriously so much to me. Um, but I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.